Welcome to the FactionWarfare.com Guide to Overview Settings. This is by no means an end-all tutorial to overview settings. The goal with this video is a short, concise explanation of how the overview works, and then how I personally have my tabs set up. For Faction Warfare, this has worked great for me. However, there are a lot of scenarios outside of Faction Warfare that can and will need different settings. For that, I highly recommend the EVE University guide linked below, which is what taught me how to set things back up when I first started. The first thing you want to do, so you can safely adjust these settings, is dock up and then go to Shortcuts in the EVE settings. Under the Window tab, you want to scroll down to Open Overview Settings and create a hotkey for it. This will allow you to set up your overview from the safety of a station. I use Alt-O personally. The first section of the overview are filters. These filter out specific information on the overview. The first of these is types, such as beacons, ships, asteroids, etc. The second is states. This is whether or not the types of a certain state appear. For example, you can define things to the point that you want all cruisers to appear, that is a type, but you don't care if the pilot is an ally of your corporation, that is a state. By combining the states and the types, you can choose what shows up on the overview. The second section is the Appearance tab. This is the biggest area that Faction Warfare pilots fall short in that causes friendly fire, and I'll explain why. The three tabs here are Color Tags, Backgrounds, and E-War. These are what defines how things being presented on the overview are presented. Stuff like being at war with Militia, with the orange box with the white star, and flashing red skulls for pirates are defined from this section. The reason this becomes an issue is it's defined on a first-come, first-served basis. For example, if you were building a PvP tab that's designed specifically to show enemies and not friendlies, you might end up with somebody in your fleet appearing due to the order of precedence in this list. Say your FC is negative 10 because he pirates on the side. Criminal is above member of your Militia, so since it was first hit, Suddenly, the FC of your fleet shows up as a valid target on your PvP tab. This right here is where things break down. The most important things in Faction Warfare, period, are if they are at war with you, are they at war with your militia, and are they allied to your militia. These should be listed at the top and unticked or ticked as necessary, and you can drag these settings up and down to whatever order you like. Bad standings is also a good one to have up there, as you may have a group that has been AWOXing you, so you want it to show a precedence of negative 10 or terrible standings over whether they are in fleet, militia, etc. This goes for both color tags and backgrounds. How you want things to show up on your overview as far as backgrounds and icons is your own preference, but I leave things largely default. Columns are the way you want information presented. By default, it gives you the icon, defined by color tags, distance to it, name of it, and type of it, like a vexer or a mauler or blackbird, etc. There are several other fields too. The tag column is where the FC can give things letters and numbers. This is useful depending on your fleet. A lot of FCs don't use this, but some do, allowing them to not only call out targets in order of priority on comms, but to have it show up on the tag field in the overview. This helps eliminate any cases of confusion or people talking over the FC to ask them to repeat the target names. Corporation and Alliance will show you the tickers of the group that they are in. Faction and Militia are largely irrelevant to us. As we've already indicated friendly and hostile Militia via colors, this is mostly just extra bloat that we don't need on our overview. Size is the object size in meters, not usually relevant to Faction Warfare combat. Velocity is the target's speed. This can be useful to determine quickly if a ship is afterburner or microwave drive fit, as well as various other tactical reasons, like whether or not they have been scrammed. Radial velocity is a combination of speed and direction, so you can see if it's moving away or towards you. Transversal velocity is the object's speed perpendicular to you. This is useful mostly for gunnery pilots. The faster this is, the faster they are moving perpendicular to you, and the harder they are to hit. Angular velocity is the main one for gunnery pilots. This is the object's speed relative to your own ship and is measured the same way a gun's tracking speed is. If the number in this column is lower than the tracking speed of your gun, then your guns will be able to track effectively. The Ships tab customizes what appears when you mouse over something. You shouldn't have to change any information here, as things like ship names don't particularly matter and appear on the D-scan anyways. The Overview tab section is where you can assign multiple tabs to the overview. For this particular tutorial, we will be creating five tabs. PvP, Drones, Travel, Friendlies, and Safety. 
As you make overview settings, you can click the icon on the top left of the overview and save them with a name. Those name settings can be assigned here in overview tabs. Basically, you have tab name, which is the name it will have on the actual overview, overview profile, which is the name settings you saved, and its bracket profile, which is what bracket settings you want to use. Brackets are the icons in space, so if you choose show all, it will show everything all the time, regardless of your settings. I generally set this to the same as the tab, and use Alt-Z if I need to see everything quickly at a glance. The miscellaneous tab allows you to change a couple options as well as resetting all of the overview settings. Move entries with broadcast to top is a good one to check, as it will cause any targets broadcast as primaries or people requesting things like armor to appear at the top of the overview, making it easier to find them. Reset all overview settings does just that. The brackets and targets section has to do with how the UI is presented. Things like pop-ups on screen due to damage and the lines in space that come off of targeted ships can be turned on and off here. We're going to start off by getting the colors correct. This is global and not tab specific, so we'll get this out of the way first. For myself, I have icons enabled for every single one of these except bounties and no standings. If they don't have a standing with me, I don't want a gray square for them, and I really don't care if they have a bounty. As far as order goes, the default is mostly correct. However, you want to drag pilot is in your corporation, pilot is in your alliance, pilot is excellent or good standings, and pilot is in your militia above pilot is a criminal. This will give these priority, so that if somebody is in your corp, militia, alliance, etc., and is a pirate, it will not show up as a blinky red skull, but simply a friendly pilot. That's what's important. Put these in the order you want, but I personally use pilot is in corp, alliance, terrible, bad, excellent, good, and then militia in that order. The reasoning there is that people in militia frequently AWOKs, so if you keep tabs on this via contacts, they will have the appropriate icon. For backgrounds, this follows a similar setup. Keep an order just like you had above, but this time it's preference for the colors. Some people really like colorful overviews, and some don't. Personally, the only ones I have enabled here are Pilot is at War with my Corp Alliance, War with my Militia, Limited Engagement, Criminal, Suspect, and Pilot is negative 5. It follows order of precedence here as well, so keep that in mind as you drag things around. Note that if you have Pilot is Criminal marked to show above a friendly tag, they will appear red or whatever you set. If you want all the pretty colors, by all means enable this, but make sure you get it in the right order. The rest of the list, aside from these six, I have all unchecked. I don't particularly want my overview blowing up red or orange if a corp we don't like is in the overview and make me think they are enemy pilots. This is again preference, but the simpler you can make this, the better. You don't want to shoot at somebody who is simply bad standings and not enemy militia and high sec, or you'll end up getting popped by Concord. Additionally, everything in the backgrounds tab can be set to blink, so if you want things to flash on the overview, you can set it here. If you want flashy indications of what you can shoot without being attacked by Concord, set Pilot is at War with Corp Alliance, War with Militia, Limited Engagement, Criminal, Suspect, and Pilot has security statues below 5 to blink. On the E-War tab, I have everything checked. The more information, the better in this case, and knowing what is jamming or scramming you can mean the difference between losing your ship and surviving the fight if you know what to prioritize. Starting off with the Types tab, let's start fresh and deselect all. Right-click on the Ships tab and select all. Right-click on the Charge tab and select all. This makes bombs and probes show up. Open up Celestial and select Beacons so you can see Plexes and Missions, Covert Beacons, Warp Gates, and the Sun. The Sun is a good staging point for starting missions as well as finding other players. It is also nice to have here in case you need to warp a pod out and don't have time to change tabs. Under NPCs, select Pirate NPC so you see Hostile NPCs at Gates. This includes Sancha. Under Entities, select Destructible Sentry Guns. Now under States, you want to select everything in the list, except Pilot, Agent is interactable Pilot has excellent standing Pilot has good standing Pilot is in your alliance Pilot is in your corporation Pilot is in your fleet And Pilot is in your militia or allied to your militia This is preference, but I don't like having random faction warfare members on my combat overview as I don't even want to accidentally lock them, much less shoot them the reason for these states is, as mentioned earlier, this is a PvP overview tab. You do not want people blue to your corp to appear here, as you don't want accidental friendly fire. Now save the preset. Hit the button in the top left, and choose Save Current Type Selection As, and type 1-PVP.
Now there are differing opinions on this. Some people like to have the ability to hot swap between a PvP and PvP drones preset. Some like it separate. I prefer the latter, as it's less clutter on my overview. If I'm focusing down drones, it's because I need them off the field and really don't care about the other ships that are coming. If you want to figure out how to set it up with two presets that you can swap between for PvP and PvP plus drones, please visit the EVE University article linked below. First, click the button in the top left and load one hyphen PvP. We want to use our PvP preset as the basis for this. Next, go to the Types section, right-click on Ships, and deselect all. Now go to Drones, right-click, and select all. Save your current type selection as two hyphen drones. That's it. Since backgrounds and color tags are not part of tabs, we've done all we need to create another tab that focuses on showing drones, and we can move on to tab 3. The third tab is for getting around. For this, I would load the PvP preset again. The reason for this is that while getting around to Stargates, I don't want to miss that there are war targets flying around, so the PvP preset is a nice starter to have loaded in addition to the things that we want to warp to. Go into Celestial Types and check Stargates and Wormholes. Go into Station and select Station. Go into Deployables and select Mobile Warp Disruptors. Save this preset as 3-Travel. Now, as a note, and this is a great idea I got from EVE University, some areas, like Jita, are incredibly overcrowded and the Travel tab becomes difficult to use. One thing you can do in HiSec is create another tab, like 3-Travel without newts, and uncheck the pilot has no standing state. Load up the PPP preset again. Go to States and check the boxes for friendly things. Excellent Standing, Good Standing, Alliance, Corp, Fleet, and Militia. It's up to you if you want to disable unfriendly states, but I prefer to have that on here, just in case. Save this as 4-Friendlies. This preset has one purpose and one purpose only. If you are losing your ship, it's the GTFO tab. In low sec, there is absolutely no reason for you to ever have your pod pointed after losing a ship. Basically, if you are in combat and you know you are going down, you switch to this tab, pick any of the planets on it, and start spamming warp. There is a slight lag when your ship is destroyed and you are ejected, and you will enter warp during that. There is no opportunity to be locked if you do this. Load the PvP preset again. Deselect all with the button at the bottom of types. Go to Celestial and check Planets. This will allow you to warp out instantly to a planet of your choosing. Don't include the sun here, as it's the most likely place they'll have somebody ready to smart bomb you if you get unlucky. Save this as 5-Safety. Finally, it's time to set up the Overview tabs. You simply need to give each tab on the Overview a name, choose the appropriate profile, and then what brackets you want to be displayed. There are some other tabs you can make if you wanted, like Missions. However, in general, Missions work just fine with the default tabs. Personally, I would use the Friendlies tab and turn it into that while missioning. One thing to take note of at the time of this video being released is that there seems to be a bug where setting the Overview tabs up here while docked sometimes does not save. If this happens for you, simply set them up while in space. In practice, this is how the tabs work. Here, I'm hanging out with a friendly corp member in space, and there's an enemy in Cursus here. The PvP tab shows me just the Incursus and the Sun, as well as any potential beacons. The Drones tab ignores the Incursus and shows me his drone. The Travel tab still shows me the Incursus, but includes warp gates and stations for ease of moving around. The Friendlies tab shows my corp mate or fleet member, as well as the war target and the militia infrastructure hub. As for safety, that's designed to get you out and save your pod. As you can see here, the Incursus has engaged me, and my shuttle won't last long. 
As I know I'm going to die, I switch to the pod saver tab and start spamming to warp to a random planet. As I die, my pod immediately enters warp and is safe. So there you have a quick tutorial on how to make a basic overview setup for faction warfare use. We've covered a tab for PvP, targeting drones, traveling, seeing fleet mates, and escaping with your pod. There are many other ways to configure your overview, so experiment and look up other guides for more information. EVE University's guide was a great help to me for figuring things out, and you can reach it via a link below in the description. There is also a link to my overview settings there. However, be aware that overview settings do not include the color preferences, so you can use it to import my tab settings just fine, but you still need to arrange color tabs and backgrounds as mentioned earlier.